sure, I am a neuropsychiatrist by training. I was a professor uh, trained at uh, Pittsburgh, then Emory, NIH for fellowship in the military, a professor of psychiatry uh, at the Medical College of Wisconsin. Mid-career moved to pharma, and I joined BioXL actually about the time that we went first into human with this uh, now approved sublingual film. So uh, we have um, a variety of means through artificial intelligence to scour literature and look at old molecules and new indications and repurpose as well as reformulate and uh, even molecules that never have made it to humans. And one of the things that fell out, we were very much interested in uh, stress, the stress axis and agitation. And so people often call, you know, people under stress a sort of fight or flight reaction. And so this sort of fell out of the artificial intelligence engines. We identified a very potent alpha-2 agonist, which is dexmedetomidine. It acts at the locus ceruleus, which is the seat or the origin of the uh, sympathetic nervous system. It releases norepinephrine, or the other word for that is adrenaline. And uh, adrenaline drives a fight or flight reaction in people. And so we believe that the molecule helps patients who are agitated become less agitated by a very potent alpha-2 receptor agonism. And that diminishes the sympathetic tone. And what we're seeing in clinical trials is it decreases uh, the level of agitation. Uh, well, it's it's become a sort of a buzzword. Um, a lot of different companies are using it. It's been in pharmaceutical development for more than a decade. Um, and so uh, we actually are the first company to literally use artificial intelligence to um, take molecules and uh, to the market. This is the first molecule we've done this. We have another molecule in backup in neuroscience for stress and the stress axis. We also have a molecule that is doing very well in oncology in a couple of different rare uh, orphan diseases or rare um, uh, cancers. And so we're, we're sort of shooting two for two uh, so far uh, using artificial intelligence. So it's a, it's a different way to develop molecules than other pharmaceutical companies. And I think um, it's catching on that this is a valuable you know, means to look at the literature and everything that we know about how the body works and cells. Uh, we know the brain is incredibly complex and nobody can sort of capture every level uh, like a computer can. So we're using this as a tool uh, to benefit mankind. Egami is a sublingual film. It was approved for the treatment of acute agitation associated with schizophrenia or bipolar one or bipolar two disorder. Um, the film was engineered um, to have mucoadhesive properties. So it's kind of like a Listerine film type shape. It's green and it has some dots on it, which is the actual uh, uh, dexmedetomidine or the active pharmaceutical ingredient. It has physical chemical properties so that when someone puts it under their tongue, um, it is absorbed directly through the oral mucosa. And um, the film, the backing actually dissolves over six to eight minutes, but the uh, dexmedetomidine appears in the bloodstream about five minutes after the uh, film is placed in the mouth. And then we see clinical effects uh, that are very clear. It's, it acts very rapidly. It's the fastest acting oral treatment for agitation. Uh, we see a separation from placebo as early as 20 minutes. Um, and we've run very large 750 patient trials, uh, one for patients with schizophrenia, one for patients with bipolar disorders, one or two, um, and each study showed clinically meaningful and statistically significant reductions uh, through two hours and beyond. Uh, early development, we have, uh, we're calling this molecule, the Egalmi is BXCL501. 
We have uh, ongoing studies. We have a study of daily dosing. Uh, we have a study in combination with an antidepressant in healthy volunteers. We have a study of this molecule or BXCL501 in agitation associated with Alzheimer's. Uh, we in fact have two studies, one uh, that is due to report out the first half of this year. Uh, and for that, we received breakthrough therapy from the FDA because this is a very novel mechanism of action. Um, and we've demonstrated robust efficacy in a smaller trial, but with five different measures, we've been working closely with the FDA on a breakthrough uh, status and hopefully an accelerated approval uh, for this indication. That's still in the works. We also have a follow-up molecule for the stress axis. We haven't announced what the actual molecule is, um, not quite yet. Uh, and we have a home use study for BXCL501. So patients, we know they appear in the hospital and emergency rooms or inpatients agitated, but we know they get agitated at home. And so we're studying the potential use of Egalmi or BXCL501 at home. And then we also have the oncology uh, uh, agent. Uh, it's called BXCL701, and that is looking at, um, for example, prostate cancer, a form of treatment-resistant prostate cancer. Well, I, I think that um, as a physician, uh, I treated many patients in the emergency room, and I really hated to have to give patients for example, uh, an injection. And I know that uh, it, it can be disheartening for the patient and potentially even dangerous to the patient or providers. And so I really like the fact that this is a new option available to physicians. Uh, it got me for acute agitation, especially in these situations where uh, patients can be hostile uh, or aggressive, and potentially even violent. I think it really helps um, a lot of both providers and patients.